Let's get it poppin'. I'm gonna keep on bursting in the song until people complain enough to stop me. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, June 7th, and welcome to The Lunch Crunch. I'm your host, Vicki Eisenstein. If you've seen this show before, you know that. Cool. Late night host John Oliver bought and paid off $15 million in medical debt. This is all part of the liberal campaign to make America England again. The Associated Press is reporting that Hillary Clinton has secured enough superdelegate votes to become the Democratic nominee. This would make her the second female nominee from a major political party following the lesser known Gal Gore. In other Hillary news, she's being criticized for wearing an Armani jacket worth $12,495 to a campaign speech on inequality. I tried to write a punchline for this joke, but I ended up on the Armani website for far too long, which may have been part of their cunning plan. Weight loss guru Richard Simmons was hospitalized on Friday for quote, bizarre behavior. When asked how long he'd been acting this way, friends and family said, oh, about 67 years. Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo has named a new baby camel, Alexander Camelton. He's reportedly in good health and just like his country, he's young, scrappy, and humpy. Alexander Camelton. Brock Turner, a Stanford University swimmer who brutally raped a woman behind a dumpster, has gotten off with only six months of jail time, and his father is outraged that it was even that much for what he called, quote, 20 minutes of action. I'm pretty sure that within a year or two, we'll hear his father outraged again that his son had to do a whole month of community service for just five minutes of murder. Scientists have created human pig embryos to alleviate transplant organ shortages, giving you another reason to call your loved one babe. Oh lardy, so could I make such a bad pun? Boxer and civil rights advocate Muhammad Ali passed away over the weekend, though it's probably just a promotional stunt for his much-hyped big next fight, Strife in the Afterlife. A dagger buried alongside King Tut was recently found to have been made out of iron from a meteorite. Further study on the dagger was halted when it was stolen by a ragtag team of historians led by Nicolas Cage to keep it out of the hands of the Illuminati. MySpace company officials recently admitted that millions of usernames and passwords were offered for sale on an online hacker forum. In other news, MySpace continues to exist and still has company officials. Yesterday, my hashtag game on my at Lunch Crunch News account trended at number four in the US and number five in Canada. The tag was hashtag how to get a promotion and Twitter as always was full of good advice. Let's take a look at the top five tweets. At Mick Joverdeen tweets, bring donuts. It's easier to rise above the pack when they are all in diabetic comas. At Kick em in the Nards tweets, wide open availability. At Megan Aldane tweets, don't worry, crap usually floats to the top. At Charlie CK14 tweets, be a good listener or a skilled eye makeup artist. And at TLC Princess tweets, how much higher up from a stripper can I go? Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with who else you know will like it. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.